Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to do a video, an uh, updated one, basically talking about how can you cash in and cash out and after that from there, how can you buy cryptocurrency for Singapore users. So if you are not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification and leave a thumbs up to this video and of course we're going to get started. And of course before we get started onto it, I'm just going to show you the brief introduction of my channel if you are new. So over here on my channel itself, I have done a, previously, a, a, I think a year ago, I have done a, a video on a guide on how to cash in and out. Uh, to SG uh, to Singapore dollars and after that from there it is about cryptocurrency buying and selling and after that from there today I'm going to do a new updated version and after that um, yeah if you are basically new to the channel uh, I would like to introduce you to my discord channel which I am currently having uh hosting and after that from there I'm doing like giveaways from time to time if let's say my channel has some events or whatsoever I'm just gonna put it over here for giveaways so that's like free Bitcoin to be uh, to be won and stuff like this and of course uh, before we get started as well I'd like to basically tell you guys there's a scam ongoing on Binance Smart Chain which is their basically the airdrop scam there is people receiving uh, free tokens and after that from there most of you guys might be a victim of it if you are already holding the Binance token uh, itself and in, of course interacting with the Binance Smart Chain and of course I'd like to basically go over to the website and understand what is this scam all about so we're gonna jump into the topic right now uh, basically the starters that I would say is for beginners how do you buy in uh, buy, buy, buy and sell cryptocurrency so for those who are really like beginners on the platform or want to buy and sell cryptocurrency and after that you can use the application and start with this first of all i would say that you want to basically consider coin Hako as your first choice because i would say that for singaporeans uh, we can just buy and sell um using coin Hako and after that from there i will tell you the fees uh we're gonna cover the whole platform as well the fees and after that uh, what is the platform all about and after that how why would i recommend this place for you to buy and sell your cryptocurrency so for the beginners out there who are like uh, looking to get into the cryptocurrency space so i will say the first of all the coin Hako, uh, platform itself so how do you deposit very simple sign up an account using the link down below and after that from there you just click on the deposit button once your account has been verified click on deposit and after that from there you can deposit up to 20k per month if i'm not wrong and after that from there you will just follow the details as accordingly uh on the page itself and after that do, do note that there is no deposit fees directly if you deposit um from the from your account into coin Arco's account there's no deposit fee unless you make a yeah basically make make some errors and after that like you included included this word called a bitcoin ET, uh, i mean uh current cryptocurrency coin or whatsoever if you uh, mention this on the transfer itself you will basically get a, a penalty of two percent and after that do not transfer funds from another account which does not match your name which you have signed up using your kyc so do not send uh funds from your basically i would say from your mother's account or what basically just use your own bank account and after that from there because of the aml law uh, anti money anti money laundering law therefore it is more uh, slightly strict on this as well and after that over here uh, let's say you are using you can use the deposit um uh, deposit using x first so this is uh, another option for people who are already using x first and after that from that this is one of the way you can yeah basically deposit your funds and after that you have to know that uh, the minimum is five five dollars and after that from there the maximum is 20k per transaction and after that from there you can see there's a fee included of 0.55 percent for x first so if you want to basically you can just use the platform um just deposit through their bank account and after that from there there's no there's no fees uh, being charged and for the trading fees uh, wise itself they are currently having this fee so the fees for Coinaco itself is a 1% flat rate of all buy, sell or swap of cryptocurrency. So I would say that um, the fee is slightly is higher. Why is that so? Because the platform is super easy to use and I would say that you only can do market orders on the platform. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, like what is a market order whatsoever, uh, fear not, I'm going to explain it to you later on the video. So for right now, for beginners itself, I would say Coinaco is the best option for you. Why is that so? Uh, because you just sign up the account and after that from there you can just click deposit and wait for your funds to be credited just by yourself over here so you have to note that on coinaco itself there is some currency over here that you cannot receive or send basically why is that so it is only uh, the currency has been listed on their platform only for trading purposes therefore if you want to buy a axis and uh, axis infinity to play the game of exo infinity you are not able to because you you cannot send your uh, axx out and after that, over here there's some token that is not uh um, basically you cannot buy or uh, you cannot send or receive from the platform itself but there is some uh, tokens that is so if let's say you want to interact with the smart uh, with the 
chain itself and after that from there like DeFi or whatsoever you have to know that which currency that you can or cannot buy or sell I mean send out of the platform or receive to the platform therefore I would say do not make the mistake so over here previously I have done a deposit of like say Binance token over here they previously allowed the buy uh, I mean the receive and send currently right now they disable it so my funds over here is uh, as good as paper money which I can only sell and after that uh, basically take the profit on whatever is showing so I would say do not make the mistake and after that from there yeah, Coinco itself is a platform for you to basically store your cryptocurrency and get into the cryptocurrency market. So for the slightly advanced users right now, we are going to explain. I'm going to explain to you what is the market order and stuff like this. So for the slightly advanced users, I would say that you want to basically cash in and cash out using Binance.com. Why is that so? First of all, the fees that they are charging on Binance is 0.1%, uh, which is over here. So over here you can see Binance is only charging 0.1%. So comparing it with Coinaco is that Coinaco is charging like uh, 1%. And of course, basically Binance is charging 0.1%. So you are saving as high as 0.9% of your tradings. And after that, I will say that why is this much more advanced? Because uh, first of all, you have to use the Binance uh, platform itself to buy um, your stablecoin. Basically, how you want to cash in. It, uh, they do not have the option for you to basically do a bank transfer over here if you look over on the platform itself, i'm going to show it to you so if you click on deposit itself you are not able to deposit like sing dollars or the us dollar uh over here no so it's over here deposit fiat itself they have some error i mean like there's some issue with the authorities or whatsoever and after that from there you're unable to deposit using uh, right now you can use the swift but of course if let's say you want to use the sing dollars there's no sing dollars for you to deposit in so this is a bit of complication and after that, i would say that i've already made a video on how can you like cash in and cash out on uh binance which is going to pop up above which is basically using the peer-to-peer -peer option uh binance is offering and after that i'm not going to explain to you how that how does it work because it's a whole uh, another video and after that, we're just going to talk about how can you like buy and sell on the platform itself so for you guys who are slightly new to the platform or let's say you do not have any un uh, knowledge on trading basically if you, if you see this over here you guys are confused and after that from there you are like uh, blur or tongue you do not understand how does this work Fear not, I have a playlist of um, talking about how do you interact with Binance, uh, uh, the, the exchange itself, which is on my channel, which is going to pop up as well over here. And after that, from there, you can do uh, can do your own research and after that, from there, study up on my channel itself. How do you interact with all this? So for the makers and after that, from there, a market order. So on Huangako itself, we know that we are using the mar uh, mar uh, market order. Why is that so? Because if you click over here and after that, if you click on trade, and after that, you can buy and sell over here. If you click on buy and sell, you can see this is a direct buy and sell. So let's say you want to purchase $100 sing worth of Bitcoin. It is going to tell you directly, yeah, you spend, yeah, I want to buy $100 and you receive this amount of Bitcoin or Ethereum depending on your on your taste. And after that, from there, it's going to tell you the price and after that, the fees as well. And after that, from there, we are a bit, uh, over, once you have done this, you just click on buy itself. It's going to execute the trade immediately. And after that, you receive your Bitcoin or Ethereum or your cryptocurrency onto your Coinaco wallet directly. And after that, from there, you have to wait for the price to rise and sell. And after that, from there, you can make some profit. But on, on Binance itself, another side of it is on the market and after the limit order, basically, whatever you are doing on uh, Coinaco, it is called the market order. Basically, you put in how much uh, sing or US dollar you want to buy a uh, purchase on a cryptocurrency after that it's going to execute on the market itself and after that from there you will just receive your coins uh, immediately and for the limit order itself is slightly for more advanced users i which i said uh, basically over here you are and uh, on the limit order itself you are waiting for the price to reach your target level and after that from there you will uh, the trade is going to be executed and of course the amount of uh US, that, uh, US dollar that you spend, you, are, uh, you receive the amount of uh, Bitcoin that is um, shown over here. So let's say the price of Bitcoin is now is at 49,200 plus. And after that, let's say you believe that uh, Bitcoin is going to fall until 48,000, you can put 48,000. And after that, from there on the US dollar, just enter 100. And after that, click on buy. And after that, wait for the price to hit 48,000. And your trade will be, you will enter a position. And from there, you are able to basically buy and sell using the platform itself using the spot uh spot uh features and of course the next option is for the experts level who only want to use experts to interact so for those who are using experts already we know that coinaco itself you can use experts and after that from there the withdrawal or on coinaco itself we know that the withdrawal fee is two dollars on your on your cash and after that, let's say i withdraw it to uh what, what is that called uh coinaco i mean 
Xverse itself, they do not have the option for you to withdraw through Xverse. But of course, if you want to deposit through Xverse, you can use the option to deposit through Xverse. But of course, they have a fee of 0.55%. And of course, the next platform itself is Tokenized Exchange, which is another platform which you can use to basically deposit Sing dollars. And after they do a limit or limit orders and stuff like this so over here we can look at the deposit fees on uh, token tokenized exchange over here you can see for the experts direct itself they also charge a normal fee of 0.55 percent which is charged by experts and after that from there if let's say you are a premium member or a platinum member basically the fees for it is zero and after that the maximum daily amount is yeah basically the, uh, depending on your tier and of course, for uh, bank transfer, for the normal bank transfer itself, it is also free. There's no fees. And after that, um, yeah, for the trading fee on uh, tokenized itself, we are going to exploit it as well. So over here on the trading fees on tokenized itself, on the platform itself, I would say on tokenized exchange, you can basically do market order or limit order. The same thing on Binance itself. And after that, from there, the fees that they charge is 0.8% for normal. For basically what is fiat to crypto, basically using a sing dollars to buy crypto or let's say you are going to basically sell your crypto to sing dollars. The fees that char they charge is 0.8%. And for crypto, crypto is it, uh, what is it, uh, what does that mean? Basically for you to use this option itself, it is on the exchange. So let's say you have some Bitcoin, you want to sell it to Ethereum. You can do it and after that it is uh, known as the crypto to crypto trade and it's 0.25% uh, on the trading fees and of course for the crypto withdrawal over here it is slightly a disadvantage if we use the tokenized exchange why is that so if let's say you to withdraw $100,000 worth of cryptocurrency you are going to pay a percentage of 0.02% on your withdrawals and I will say that withdrawing your cryptocurrency you have to pay this amount uh, it is slightly a disadvantage if let's say you are uh, withdrawing a huge amount if let's say you are withdrawing like a hundred or two hundred dollars worth of it i will say this over here it is slightly reasonable why is that so because of the uh, withdrawal fees on the exchanges out there they are off, uh, offering on withdrawing like ethereum or ethereum based tokens because on ethereum based token itself the withdrawal fees is as high as 10 uh, us dollars or above depending and after that from there we are going to talk about what is the best way in my own opinion so to be honest, the best way that I feel uh, basically trading and after that from there, um, trading on the cryptocurrency market and of course getting an entry and then building a portfolio in the cryptocurrency uh, space itself. To be honest, my be uh, the best method that I always recommend people to use is using Binance. Why is that so? Because on Binance itself, the fee is as low as 0.1% and after that, they do not have this uh, or this uh, unreasonable withdrawal fees and after that from there I would say that on Binance itself it is also the largest exchange which they have uh, lots of liquidity and to be honest the spread itself it is very um how I put it is very transparent and after that over here you can use the advanced tab and there's a lot of features that is offered by Binance you can use the limit order and after that from there you can buy and sell cryptocurrency from time to time depending on how you feel like it and after that from there you can just you do not need to keep, uh, if let's say you are using Coinaco itself, you can only trade on Coinaco if let's say the price reaches 70k of Sing dollars, you want to sell it. You have to do a manual selling over here, you have to come over to the application and after from there you have to do a sell and they charge a fee of 1% which is reason uh, is very unreasonable to my to, to be honest because it's too expensive and that's why i would say that uh, which exchange that i'm using the most and after that the best exchange i use is totally binance and after that why do i say that uh of course the cons on binance itself you have to cash uh cash in and cash out using the peer-to-peer -peer option which is a bit skeptical for people what is peer-to-peer -peer. basically you are selling your cryptocurrency or buying your cryptocurrency from users on the platform and after that from there you will yeah basically uh, uh, people are being scared of like fear the scam and stuff like this but to be honest i feel that my experience using the peer-to-peer -peer itself it is not really scammy or sketchy but uh i would say that all the trades are professionally done and after that from there the user over there uh, do the due diligence and stuff like this for you and after that, it is slightly a bit troublesome because you need to submit your kyc from time to time if you are going to buy or sell cryptocurrency to the users over there and after that i would say that um yeah this is the best way and after that over on the second part itself if let's say you do not want to have a hassle talking like a uh, peer-to-peer -peer or whatsoever you can just use tokenized exchange and after that from there you can just pay the rates that they are currently having and after that from there have a discounted rate on coinaco itself and after that um, basically you can use tokenized exchange to trade your cryptocurrency because they have the limit order trades so here you can do a limit order or market order depending on you they also have a stop and trailing stop loss uh 
feature on the platform and after that on Kohaku itself it is the it is totally for beginners only I will say uh, for you to get in your cryptocurrency and after that get out your cryptocurrency just basically for people who are interested in trading the cryptocurrency market and have a small portfolio in the crypto market you can use Kohaku if, if not you can use tokenized exchange if you do not want to deal with peer-to-peer um, trading or let's say the US dollar or whatsoever you can if let's say you are here to save a lot of money and I will say at the same time make a lot of money uh, Binance is the way. Why is that so? Because Binance is just a 0.1% and of course I have come to the end of the So I have come to the end of the video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and of course turn on post notification and of course from time to time, please let me know that what is the best way uh, for you to cash in and cash out uh, on the cryptocurrency market and of course I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye bye. Peace.